So, straight into the grand final for this uh, King of the Ring tournament, knockout tournament, because unfortunately John Naylor unable to continue wrestling at all this afternoon. He's uh, damaged his knee, which is already giving him trouble before this, and therefore unable to wrestle. Leaving Mark Rocco and Steve Gray, the two finalists, and here they are. Six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide this winner. And Rocco, of course, a cup almost two stone heavier than Steve Gray. Yeah. But both men equally determined to get that wonderful silver trophy that we saw earlier on. And we'll no doubt see again at the end of this bout when it's presented to one of these fellows. But Rocco at 13 stone four, a heavy middleweight, in fact the former heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain, against the lightweight champion of Great Britain. Oh, three, three brackets up, three weight divisions up. Welter and middleweight between them. Oh, very unfortunate for John Naylor, though. Bad luck. He's really after that trophy here today. His chance is spoilt by a foul move by Peter Kay when he was caught the top rope there. Really interesting to see in this catchweight bout, which it is now, of course. How Greg gives away almost two stone against this very fast heavy middleweight. Both men of speed, agility, but uh, Mark Rocker with such a weight advantage is going to be tricky for Greg here. very quickly out of that. Using the evidence of the ropes, right under that headbutt. Weakening up process, Rocco going through. Control, slam, back weakness most of the time. Reverse double knee, hold his arm. Two minutes left in his first round of six. most anxious apart from this trophy here this afternoon most anxious to get that heavy middleweight belt back that he lost to Marty Jones I, I don't think it'll be too long before he'll have his chance because in November Max Crabtree the matchmaker for joint promotions is has got a, a, a good tournament for that heavy middleweight title a vacant title if Marty Jones is forced to give it up through weight and I think he will be so Mark Rock will be one of them, that's for sure. Bert Royal, another. I don't know who the other fellows will be left in the tournament by then. Five seconds. So that 
Phil Nelson come in and I think by Rocco. And Steve Gray's corner. Steve Gray from Peckham, South East London, of course. Ten stone seven. A man who teaches handicraft to special carpentry to the old people, the old aid pensioners and handicapped old people generally. There's a wonderful job this man in his spare time. Very, very popular lightweight champion of Great Britain. Six away, round two. But he's got a heck of a job on here today against the heavier Mark Rocco. Stronger and heavier, Gray can only rely on his skill and speed, of which Rocco has plenty. That, but he'll, he's quite happy. Rocco really going for those back weaknesses at every opportunity now. He's trying to pick up his reach too. Time tackle great, but hasn't got the weight surely. A pile driver by Rocco. Now then, that pile driver by Mark Rocco could mean real trouble for Gray. They really weakened him now. Another one. Holding him down with an easy reverse double knee hold. And the first fall quite easily to Rocco in just one minute, 13 seconds of round two. Fred Downs for MC. Gentlemen, the second round, first fall in favor. Mark Rocco! So Gray in a bit of trouble there, but Rocco quite happy with the leading his, uh, by his, that first fall he gained there. A couple of pile drivers and following it down quite easily with a perverse double knee hold on the prostrate man on the back. Second way, round three. Gray will have to go, because there goes the bell to start round three. Four rounds to go. Rocco in the, the full gear of the white boots there, of course, his usual gear, stars down the side, leading by one fall, and really going in now with more weakness. Specter will concentrate mostly on the back, giving Gray little chance with his lack of weight. Here. But knowing Steve Gray, he certainly won't give up. Take anything to keep alive that chance of that trophy. Uh, 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 uh. Unnecessary. Public warning for that, and quite right too. Quite Ladies unnecessary. Ladies and gentlemen, first public warning, Mark Rocco. He's doing quite well enough without that, resorting to the tricks like that. Steve Gray in real trouble. Especially with that hair. Okay. Good stretch. Great trying to climb over the top. If he can get over the top, he'll be all right. And the drop. Lovely. Beautiful lead by drop back from that. And it's Gray going for the hair now. Retaliation. And the crowd loving it. You know, that Steve Gray does to retaliate the better they love First fall. Cross press. One, two, one. it nicely. But the punch, was it? No. Four arms is the way. Well. 
and still Mark Rocco persisting with his back weakness. Another posting there. Inside of the forearm, the back. All legal as well as his manners on his feet. A minute to go now, another posting. And Rocco almost a suplex there, but onto the back. The pressure on the back again, the backbreaker, and his left shot. Gray slide down, he can, and took the go beautifully on the back shot. Rocco looking a little more anxious now with 30 seconds to go. Not quite so confident anymore. And the crowd here hoping that Gray can come back a little in this moment. He's trying to see the leg Boston on. No, he's not going for it. He's got eight seconds only. It's too late with it. It's too late with the hold. The surfboard won't work. The bell will save him. Bad luck on Steve Gray. All that effort to get the surfboard all set up. And the bell goes just as he gets there. Very young. I don't know what he's complaining about. He was dead lucky. The bell saved him. Halfway through the bout now. Round four coming up, and Rocco not quite so confident anymore, though still leading by that one fall he gained in the second. Second away, round four. Now, can Great continue with his comeback? He so nearly had that surfboard on him. Could have had a submission from him. At least he was hoping so. Along with most of the crowd here. situation. to go and the improbable could happen here great could give away nearly two stone and come out the winner here Second away, round five. nearly three stone a bigger problem it is three stone 10 7 to 13 4 just three pounds out of three stone can gray do it one public warning against rocco score one each <laughs> Follow up with a foot, quite unnecessary, and he's going to get punished. So the final public warning, Mark Rocco. So the final public warning, Mark Rocco. Not much of the fourth, twice. Gray retaliating on the leg, very neutral indeed. Causing trouble with Rocco's left leg. Flying tackle. 
posting, but a loose one. I think Gray more or less taking a little breather now rather than being too worried about that. But now another crutch and slam on the top rope. Trying every trick in the box, but both illegal and legal. Oh no, too obvious, far too obvious. Gray saw that coming a mile. But still, Rocco going for a single leg muscle, getting a immediate submission from it, and that's it. So, in one minute, 17 seconds of round five, Rocco the winner by one fall and one submission to Gray's one fall. 2 1 win then for Rocco from Manchester and Fred Downs to make that announcement and presentation of the knockout trophy, the King of the Ring knockout trophy. But what a great final it was, and what a tremendous show Gray, the lightweight, put up against the heavier and very, very skillful Manchester man, Rocker.